Hey everyone, my name is Nick and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about relocating my spool bracket from the top of the printer to the side of the printer. So this print didn't go super smoothly. As you can see, my first layer had some issues and it took me quite a while to fix it. So let's check out the print. So what's neat about the design of this bracket is it doesn't require any extra parts besides what's included in the Ender 3 V2's box. So no extra nuts and bolts. I got this design from Chuck Hellebuck, whose Filament Friday videos are super helpful, and I'll include a link in the description to the STL file and the video where he talks about it. So like I mentioned, when I first started the print I was having a lot of first layer issues, whether it be like the first line curling up and not sticking to the bed, or the whole layer curving up, it was frustrating. So the first thing I tried was re-leveling the bed, cleaning the bed, many times, and that didn't really help, so I moved on to adjusting the temperature up to see if that would help with sticking, and that didn't work either. So the whole time I'd been trying all these different fixes, my printing temperature was 200 degrees, and I thought, well, that can't be the issue because my test print went so well. But I ended up increasing it to 215, and that solved all the issues I was having. With that done, there weren't any issues with the print, and we're watching that right now. And the print I did after this actually ran into some similar issues, which were addressed by slowing down the print speed for the initial layer to 15 millimeters per second from 25. And with that, I had really good results. So assembling the bracket is really simple. Once you've taken up the bracket from the top, Put your T-nuts into the slots. Choose which orientation you want the holder to be. And thread in the screws. And once they're tightened up, you're ready to mount the bracket to the printer. So once you've lined up the tab with the groove in the base, you can push it in. That's a snug fit, just so it doesn't move. Then you can mount your spool, and that's easiest if you move the hot end up out of the way. And the last step is to put the cover back onto the base. And that's it. Overall, this is a pretty simple upgrade that can help reduce vibrations in your prints. I definitely recommend it if you have the space because it is a little wider. And I think it looks pretty cool too. I hope my experience with this print helps you out and I'll see you in the next video.